Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a video part 3 of the video series on the Postgres with RubMGR High Availability Cluster Lab Setup. Today we are going to set up Postgres 16 on Oracle Linux 9. With all that being said, let's jump in. I'm here on Oracle via VirtualBox Manager. Before we begin our Postgres installation, we need to take a snapshot of every virtual machine before we start the Postgres installation so that we may roll back and start from the snapshot point if something goes wrong. So we have here three VMs so we need to take snapshots. Uh, this is optional and if you are watching this video in the first time so I urge you to watch the first and second video to have a full understanding about what we are doing here. So let's click here on the three dashes go to the snapshot and take snapshot let's give this snapshot a name i name it b4bg installation which is before postgres installation let's click ok we can see here this is the box bar yeah we have done here let's move to the second one the same and yeah we can see here the progress bar the third one snapshot take and name it progress bar as well we can see here that the three vms have a snapshot taken i'm here on the postgres download home page so we can see here that the postgres is available on uh, linux mac windows psd solaris so the operating system that we want to install postgres on is oracle linux 9 so let's click on linux we can see here that we have different flavors so oracle linux is based on red hat so let's click on red hat we can see here that the steps and procedure and yeah we can see here oracle linux also is supported because it's uh, under the red hat red hat family so let's move to the postgres uh, yeah we here let's select the version which is the latest 16 and the operating system we will go to the 9 and here the architecture is x86 underscore 64 here is the procedure you need to copy and follow up so i have those steps on my documentation but uh, i let you see here that i'm i'm follow this uh, procedure and you can find it for any other distribution that you have i switch here to terminal you can see here that i am connected to the three nodes the first one second one and third we can see here also i'm logged in as a root user so the first step we need to install the postgres repository so i will uh, run this command sudo dnf install which is download.postgres.org and and then we will have the BG Red Hat Rebo latest. Not then click enter. Do the same on the other nodes. We can see here that the repository is for the Postgres is installed successfully on Oracle Linux 9. So let me clear the screen. Once we have the repository is installed, we need to um, just disable the Postgres SQL from the official um, repository of the Oracle Linux. So we need to take it from the Postgres repository, not from Oracle Linux repository. Three nodes as well. Let's wait once this one. We can see that the comment is completed on three nodes. Now let's uh, clear the screen. Now we will start the uh, Postgres uh, server installation. So this is the command will install the Postgres SQL 16 server. So let's hit enter on the first node and do the same on the second node and do the same on third node. The same command hit enter. You can see that the Postgres server is right now installed and completed on three nodes. Let's clean the screen. So for me, I prefer to change the data directory for the Postgres to a different location from the default. So for me, I will create a directory called like this. So make there minus p slash u01 pg data on, uh, slash data. So I'll do the same command on three nodes. Make sure that three nodes have the, the same location. Then we will change the ownership for this uh, directory to postgres like this postgres postgres for this directory the same for here and the same for here once we have the directory ownership changed 
we need now to change the mode to 700 the same for the other nodes now let's check ls minus l u01 you can see here that the ownership read write execute and this is only for postgres user and let's check here the directory as well you can see here the same and the same here yeah we can see here also the same have the same ownership so let me clear the screen now so once we have the directory created which is ls minus ld one we need to add this to the service which is the postgres sql 16 system d service to do so we need to edit the service so to edit the service we need to run this command system ctl edit dash dash full postgres thing like this hit enter we need to search for the yeah this one we can see here this is the default location we need to change it to something to the sorry we need to change it to the directory that we have created pre previously so let me just insert the mode by click the e and then we need to copy the location i have it here already paste here and add in the last and we need to save and exit now let's perform the system ctl uh, daemon reload to apply the changes now let's do the system ctl cat postgres we just zoom in and let's make sure that the change applied successfully you can see here that the service have a new location so we need to apply those changes for the system d service on the other uh, nodes so let's perform it in the second node right now the same we need to edit the service here let's edit this one at the new location Control x exit and say yes system ctl daemon reload and let's do the system ctl cat postgres let's check the new location you can see here that the new location is applied so let's let's move to the third node let's zoom in the same dash full then postgres enter we need to go to the yep here add the new location yeah, control x yes then system city game and reload then system ctl cat postgres like this let's make sure that yeah we can see here the new location for data directory is changed as well for this one let's exit the screen so once we have the service uh, system d service for postgres the data location directory is changed from default to the new location that we have already created now we need to initialize the database this we need to perform it only on the primary location okay or the primary server so the primary server for me will be the bg1 so we need to perform this command on the bg1 okay first let me just go to the user one bg data data we can see here that we don't have anything here now we need to perform this command which is usr bg sql dash 16 pin postgres dash 16 setup init db this is to initialize the database let's run let's check the here we can see that the database initialize in the new location so let me clear the screen now so once we have the database is initialized and created now we can start the service by system ctl start postgres and we need not start we need first to enable i think enable and we can perform the now to start with enable let's check the system ctl status postgres we can see that the postgres service is now active we can now access the and also you can see it's also enabled okay so let's see now we need to access the postgres by switch user psql you can see that the postgres right now is running and we are able to access the postgres on the primary node let's show the config file location you can see the compile location is available on the new location under this path let's check also the data uh, directory so we can show let me just zoom in show data 
directory and let's see yeah we can see that that directory is available under this location so that's mean everything is fine and working as expected so let's exit from here and clear the screen and zoom out so now we will focus on the primary node which is bg1 so we need to configure the postgres using configuration uh, file postgres configuration file so let's uh, start first we need to zoom in to the bg1 node you can see here that's i am on i will i will make this one as a primary node so pwd we need to check this directory 01 bg data let's do ls minus l we can see here this is the file that we need to work on okay first we need to switch to postgres dcd user one bg data let's uh, first let me just first uh, create a backup of uh, this file okay like this and i want to just extract all the default configuration from this file using this command grip minus v that's mean uh, to ignore the the comments and i will grip all the beginning which start with alphabetic or digits okay and let's see what we have this is all the configuration that we have and default configuration we have in the postgres configuration file so let me just write the data to I will write it to this one like this and let me just clear the screen so yeah we can see here let me just get this file.com we can see this now contain only the configuration without comments so it's easy for us to check the configuration now we need to add more configuration to it so let's open using vim uh, let me just yeah i will enable the insert mode by press i from the keyboard and i will add here a comment added by the admin okay and also i will add here and i have them so i need to copy those configurations here so let's uh, start with the first uh, configuration listen addresses here we need to add the listening address by default it will be localhost you can add star or the server ip address for me i prefer to add it like a wildcard so you can listen in all interfaces max wall sender here i will keep it 10 the same for max replication slots 10 the wall level i will make it replica and the hot standby is on archive mode on archive command will be slash pin slash true the shared preload library rip mgr this one commented once we uh, in the upcoming video videos uh, because we are going to install and configure rip mgr we will uncomment this part but for now i will keep it commented wall log underscore hints equal on this is for bg rewind so it's better to keep it on and to enable that feature exit and save let's exit the postgres try to clear the screen and then system ctl restart postgres net start let's check if we ant in grip 453 Ooh, this is the yeah we can see here that the postgres is listening on all interfaces with tcb so let's back again to postgres we need to make sure that the bash uh, profile you can see here that's the bg data here in the bash profile it's um yeah it's point to the default location but we have changed this location so we need to change it to something else so i have set command to accomplish that directly so set in place this will change the environment variable to a new location so let's hit enter and let's get the again we can see here that the bg data is now change to the new location we need to make sure also the postgres bin directory is added to the path let's check again and uh, we can see here it's not added so let us uh, yeah, export it we can write like this echo export path then the path to the yeah to the bin directory where is the bg exist and then also append the current path to the bash profile so let's uh, yeah do this and then let's source the bash sorry the bash this profile 
now we have let me just echo dollar path so now we can see that's the yeah bg sql-16 pin directory is appended let's do the same and change the postgres default bin and user uh, and the bin directory to, and add also the postgres bin directory to the uh, to the bash profile so let's do this for the other nodes as well so let me first switch to postgres in one of them like this clear the screen like this in all nodes i will do it now quickly yeah like this the same here as well and also we need to append and add this to the bash profile as well source the bash profile source the bash profile pg under ctl yeah we can see that ctl is working right now here the screen now we need to add uh, and allow postgres port on firewall we need to exit to the firewall to the root and same for here because to add the firewall we need a sudo or root privilege to be able to do that so the command is will be firewall dash cmd dash the dash dash add port and then the port which allow under tc then permanent the zone is public hit enter same for this one and the same for this one then we need to reload the firewall this will allow the port to be accessible then we need to list the ports make sure that is open yeah that's correct now here again and also here so that is the postgres installation process i hope you guys find it informative take care and i will see you all next time